living the dream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure this thing's on. Oh, there we go. Got to get closer. You need to make it taller, I guess. <laughs> um, so my, for my business, we kind of started by creating products and, and using Amazon, right? We're in e-com, sell barbecue sure. accessories. And so I, keep, I think I'm kind of getting hung up on, well, I just sell these you know, $20 items, $30 items, whatever, right? And so like, how do you apply this methodology maybe to like an e-com company? What we've done in the past is, um, can I get my screen shared? Oh, <laughs> my bad. Shazam. Sorry, Shazam. <laughs> there we go. Um, what we used to do is, uh, <clears throat> there's a guy we were building for kind of in a similar scenario. We're like, well, how do we increase prices? And um, it was Fiberfix. All right. And what was happening was they were selling all their stuff through an Amazon, um, Etsy, funny enough, and Shopify. We didn't want them to get rid of those stores because they're great fulfillment, they're great ways for, anyway, they're awesome for what you do, obviously, right? These different uh, uh, stores and stuff. So what we did instead is we grabbed a, we made a page in the front with all the different one-off products that they had, and any one that they clicked on actually opened up and brought them to a new funnel. So we did like, um, you know, with like, a, do you want one, two, three, four, five, or 10 radio button? We did one to 10 right there, and then we did an order bump <clears throat> we had two upsells. And then the last page right there, um, we did two things. The first thing we did is we said, hey, click right here to go see the rest of the things in our store or check out these other best sellers. And anytime they clicked on one of those three things at the bottom, all we did is we had them open up. We literally copied the funnel and changed the products. Boom. So then we just had a bunch of funnels like this and every single one of them referenced all the others as well. This is what we drove paid traffic to instead of that. And what was cool is that after about a year, I had a chance to see the data comparing uh, Amazon, the Shopify, to, you know, Etsy, and then ClickFunnels. I mean, the cart value was like three or four times higher, obviously, because of the fact there's upsells in there, which meant they could spend a lot of money. Now, every other email that went out, all we did is uh, just told them to go buy, and then we told them to go to the store. But now we had a funded way to grow them, which is, anyways, that's, that's how we did it. So you still can go, obviously, do this. The other way that we've done this in the past is we'll just say, like, there was a food storage guy we were doing stuff with, and he, um, he's like, well, it's food storage. It's like a $20 thing, a $100 thing. We just bundled up, like, $2,000 worth of stuff, and that's what he sold on a webinar. So then you bought a kit instead of one-off stuff. That'd be the other way to pull it off. Got it. That's usually how people do it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks. Yeah.